Welcome back to IAS Tech. In this video, I will show you how to use Font Awesome icons in your Angular project. So, right now I have my Angular project running in the local server. So, I this is a this is a new project, and I have to install the Font Awesome in it. So, to install Font Awesome, just open a new terminal in the root directory of your project and type ng add space at the rate uh, for awesome slash angular font awesome and press enter so it is it has searched and installed uh, the package so it would ask you some questions for example uh, it, it is telling you a version and asking you if you want to proceed with this version just press y and enter and wait for the installation now it is asking you another question that if you want to install font or some 6 version or 5 I would like to install the latest version so I would just press enter. Now it is asking you that which kind of font icons uh, you want to use so you, we have multiple options right now by default it has selected the first one but I want to select as many uh, as possible so last uh, uh, three or four are the paid one the pro ones are the paid one so I would like to use only free versions of these icons so uh, just uh, press down arrow in your keyboard and uh, press space to select this option and do the same for the last one now after you have selected all of the options that you want to select press enter and wait for the installation all right font awesome has been installed in your project and uh, because of the ng tool that you just use to install this uh, package it has made some changes for you automatically for example if you go to your angular uh, app module you would notice that font awesome module has been imported for you automatically okay so otherwise if it did not import this module you may have to import it by yourself next we need to uh, use it in our component i'm going to remove all of the uh, content from my existing component okay now here I want to use the icon to use the icon you have to import the icon that you want to use first for that type import from angular actually awesome and here you can see uh, some options uh, from the library for awesome and I for example I want to use the brand icon so you just select it and now in this bracket you can see the name of all of the icons so for example I want to use YouTube so just select the FA YouTube and assign this icon variable to a class property of the app component for that you can type any name for example youtube icon is equal to this but uh, i think it is good practice to use the same name as the name of the icon that you imported so it's up to you you can use any name so this is the name of the property that now i can access in the html because this if you don't uh, do this step then you would not be able to access this variable in the html to access a javascript variable in the html you have to do this uh, step you have to assign the value to a property of the class to access that variable in the html file now let let's try to use this icon here for that type fa icon and here type icon directive and pass the icon to this directive that you just declared here so I'm going to pass this icon as a YouTube. This should show me the YouTube icon. Uh, 
I did not save this file. That's why I was getting error. Now you can see that YouTube icon is visible. It is too small. You can increase the size of the icon as well. For example, style font size 30, 40 pixels. You, you can see that I increased the font size and the icon has been changed in size. You can increase the size of the font as much as you want. So it's up to you. Okay, it is too huge now. So you can see I have this font. Now if you want to change the icon, you can just come here on the Font Awesome website and click on the icon section. And here either you can search from the input or you can just scroll down and you have these three options solid regular or light so for now i'm just going to pick solid maybe or uh, other than that there must be a brand section so here it is saying that you can use these all brand icons so if you click on this button it would show you a list of all of the brand icons you can just pick anyone for example i want to use aws just click on that and it would give you the uh, name of the icon. So uh, we got the idea the name of the icon is FA Brands. So for that I would go back here and I would try to import that icon first. So that type FA and the name is AWS. So you got the icon. Now I have to tie it with my class property for that to use the same name and assign it that to that property. Now create another icon after that and pass that new icon to this component. Now you should see the other icon as well. You can see that AWS icon is also visible. I am going to reduce the font size uh, little bit maybe okay you can see that now aws icon is also visible let's try to change the color of the font as well you can see i can change the color and let's add color. so this is not a picture this is uh, this is like a font so you can use all of almost all of the styles of the font with these icons so the benefit of these font icons is that you can make them as much large as you want and it would stay in hd condition it would not pixelated so it would always stay in the high definition for you so so this is how you can use the font awesome, awesome icons in your project, in your Angular project. And other than that, if you face any kind of issue while installing uh, the font awesome library in your Angular project, if this uh, ng tool does not work for you, you can just try other approaches. In this uh, npm page, they have three ways to install this library. We used this way. To install the library but you can use other ways for example if you want to use with the help of the npm then you have to install uh, run all of these three uh, lines uh, of code in your terminal to install the font awesome properly uh, but uh, with this approach we could install the font awesome with just one line but if you do that manually with the npm you may have to run all of these three lines and similarly, if you want to use yarn instead of the npm, you can just follow these commands and enter in, the, in your terminal. And if you want to read it further, you can just scroll down and see the documentation and invest yourself in this documentation. So I think that's all for now in this video. If you have any questions, then please don't forget to ask in your comment section. I would happy to answer your questions. And if this video is really helpful for you in any way, then please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on my YouTube bell icon so that you get all of the notifications. And also please like and share my video. Thank you for watching. See you later in next video.